stream at Rena Maha. Before getting into the video, please like, share, and subscribe to us channel so you motivate us in bringing out the sacred content to you all. So, there are so many laws of universe, okay? So, there are many laws in those laws, okay? I have pointed out 50 laws of universe and I made a video about 50 laws of universe. If you did not yet watch that video, please search in the search bar why by rights and 50 laws of universe you will get that video listen to that video in that i mentioned 50 laws of universe and those laws some of the laws you'll find that they are like you know similar and some laws are connected to the other laws they are like a very you know some laws have a you know a response and reaction you know action and response kind of they are very very similar okay if one law is is you know is affecting you the uh, there are chances like the other law is also affecting you so they are so much connected these 50 laws and you if you listen to that video you will understand that which law is going wrong in your life okay so which law you're breaking and which law of the universe you have to obey and when you align with the laws of universe your life will be much more better better and smoother okay so do watch that you know 50 laws of video uh, universe video of mine so after that okay when i extract the important things from those laws okay from the now i made a video 50 laws of universe before right so from that 50 laws also i am extracting some of the most important laws okay so those laws are like 12 laws or 13 laws of universe so now i already made the 50 laws videos you can watch that video okay so after that one now i'll make a series of videos on you know 13 laws of universe which are very very important and these laws are aligned with the one of the galactic zodiacs okay so if you want to watch my galactic zodiac videos you can watch that also so that you can get additional information and there are so much information you know about your inner work hidden in those galactic zodiac videos because once you watch those videos you'll understand what you have to heal what inner work you have to do which shadow work you have to do and what you have to cleanse and clear from your system in that particular point of time or in that particular month or according to your own you know um, astrological chart or birth chart you'll, you'll get so many clues which are hidden in one video so you can watch my galactic zodiac videos i made an entire playlist on galactic zodiac you can go check that out okay so according to what zodiac is attracting you more you can check that one okay you can have some healing or some inner work hidden in that video or you can check you know monthly videos also i, I mean this month what galactic zodiac is influencing according to that you can plan your inner work and also sometimes it's like you know some planetary situations and changes happen according to that also you can check the galactic zodiac videos and a video and you can find out now what is actually happening there is a so much of hidden clue and information which is there in those videos if you follow those videos and if you like listen to those videos you'll have so much clarity on you know what is happening with you right now what inner work you have to do what shadow work you have to do and all these things okay so these laws are also like that only it is like some additional clue okay with the galactic zodiacs and rashis and nakshatras you'll get some clue on your inner work your life purpose and your healing and all these things your ascension and all these things okay for but for the laws also with the laws also you can understand okay which zodiac is connected to the which law of universe and how can you identify the laws in the universe once you know the rules you it will be easy for you to play that game right so to first know the rules of the universe you have to understand the laws of universe so i already made that 50 laws you can watch that video and now i'm going to make you know the more impact important and extracted version from those 50 laws which are 13 laws of universe after this 13 laws also there are some of the very very most the most important laws okay um, about that laws i'll talk about later sometime it's not the right time for me to talk about those laws because you know first i have to uh, cover up the uh, you know, basic and moderate and then I'll, I'll go to the most prioritized one like that okay so now this is like a mid middle one the 13 laws of universe and you have to first understand these laws very carefully and you have to you know implement these laws into your life so that when you implement these laws in your life you will understand that okay your life is changing for better and your life is improving okay your ascension journey is improving and you're healing faster and better okay you are becoming your most improved version you know slowly 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 like that so 
i am going to start with the law of verification okay law of verification it's very important when it comes to law of verification although all the laws are very important but then you know identifying each law and implementing and apl applying the practicality of that law is very very important so why i took law of verification is because it is connected with the 10th dimension 10th sphere and as you already know that 10th dimension is very very important as we all know that how important 10th dimension is so that's why it's connected to the 10th dimension so i thought of starting with this law only which is the law of verification so let's start so this law of verification is connected to the sagittarius sagittarius galactic zodiac if you want to watch sagittarius video you can go watch my sagittarius video in my galactic zodiac playlist okay and it is connected with the jupiter so those of you who are going through the jupiter you know mahadasha or antardasha or you are um uh the your rashi lord your birth chart's lord is jupiter and you have so much influence of jupiter in your life okay so sometimes you know your lagna your lagna means your first house with the time where um on which you know the time the moment the exact moment um on which you're born and the exact moment of the astrological correspondence or you know the exact you know posi planetary positions of the um, i mean astrological positions of the planet which were there during your birth time okay if that is jupiter that is then that this law also becomes very important for you so i have already told so many things okay your lagna your birth time planetary situation if it's you know more jupiter influence you have or you are going through jupiter mahadasha or antardasha so this is it, this can be very important and can bring in so many clues for you you can understand this video and you can understand what you have to do and what you have to not and how your life is and how your life will be you will get so many clues okay based on this so so sagittarius you have to watch that video and jupiter i already gave some clues okay and jupiter is connected to the fire element okay and i already told that it is chakra and sphere 10 okay 10th dimension 10th chakra which is very important so once you cross your monadic you know over soul body you will enter into the avatar body so this is the solar crust mind of the avatar okay you will get the solar crust mind of the avatar body and law of verification is link of what has been learned through the lessons of life and gathering of that knowledge that has been accumulated and then verifying those experiences by figuring out how to apply that knowledge into your everyday life so naturally only if you are you know in jupiter mahadasha or antardasha jupiter will give you knowledge so much of knowledge and it will provide you with a lots and lots of knowledge you will have lot of life lessons and experiences through which you'll gain a lot of knowledge you'll you know you'll be put into different different you know experiences so that you can learn from those experiences and now, now it depends on you how to how you receive that knowledge how receiving you are towards that knowledge and how you will apply that knowledge into your life so it all depends on your choices what you are taking based on your knowledge which is which is provided for you okay maybe two persons are provided with the same knowledge but the choices they make you know differs you know the choices what they make you know is different and and the result the way they get in their life will be different okay based on your choices and how you apply that knowledge you know makes you a unique person makes you a different person from one on another so it is very important not to just have that knowledge but also to understand that knowledge integrate that knowledge and also to apply that knowledge correctly underline this word correctly okay applying the knowledge correctly is also so very important if you are applying your knowledge for good intentions then universe will you know provide you with all you need and universe will bless you if you are applying your knowledge for wrong intention then even though you have knowledge then it doesn't really matter you are anyway going to get punishment from the universe because you have applied your knowledge for your wrong purposes and wrong intentions so applying your knowledge for the right intentions is very very important and it is very key Uh, to your own ascension journey and if you are not doing that then you are going into the dissension journey so apply your knowledge correctly and ascend okay so we take our spiritual lessons and then explore the opportunity to apply them to the material world and pay attention to the results we may get we get to explore ourselves on a 
perceived limitations by experimenting with the knowledge that has been gained in order to increase our skills, competence and talents by changing and experimenting with the way that we do things. Okay, sometimes we have to experiment things, we have to, you know, apply our knowledge in different ways. Okay, if this route is not working, then you have to get into some other route, but then it doesn't mean that you are doing some cheating, okay, or shortcuts, but you know, think differently. I, I just mean that you have to think your uh, thoughts differently, you have to perceive things a little bit differently in a better way. Maybe whatever th uh, the way you're perceiving things, maybe that is not serving you, so you have to think from your different ways in a very good way not in applying short shortcuts and you know cheating you know applying those cheat codes but to change your thinking or th thought pattern sometimes okay sometimes you may be you know in the lower thought patterns or negative thought patterns so you have to change your thought patterns and you have to you know bring in that changed thought pattern to help you with your skills and competence and talents okay so through verification of what we are learning we access our creative potentials in order to find new methods to address old problems and this pushes us to beyond our limits to increase our self-confidence and personal power to know that we have all we need inside of us and jupiter is also responsible for self-confidence and personal power because jupiter is what jupiter is guru graha when guru is with you guru tattva is very important i'm gonna make a video separately on guru tattva but then here i'm just giving a short glimpse of before that you know uh, the trailer before the movie like that <laughs> okay so guru tattva is very important when your guru you know any guru aspect you know if they provide you with that knowledge what happens is you you are now gaining that knowledge because now you're gaining that knowledge and with your experience or with with the help of some teacher or with the help of somebody who is coming and impa impacting that imparting that knowledge to you and they are giving you that knowledge what will happen is when you get the knowledge to do things rightly you'll get self-confidence and you'll get the some different kind of a power within you that confidence within you how it is happening is because of the jupiter Jupiter is that planet which will give you that self-confidence and personal power because Jupiter is Guru Tattva. When Guru is with you, you will have, you know, that knowledge within you. When that knowledge, that inner knowledge ignites, what you will feel is confidence within you. So to improve your confidence, you can work with the Jupiter planet also. So if you work with the Jupiter planet, then you will get the knowledge which you need in your life, in, in that phase of your life. And when you get that knowledge, you'll feel confidence within you to do any work or task or to achieve any goal. Okay, we can look at the negativity and challenges we face as life lessons designed to expand our consciousness. We may approach problems in life with a completely different attitude when we realize we will have conditions, events and people that surface in our world that come to test out what we are learning about ourselves. We are giving the opportunity to adjust our thinking, to know this experience has the truth and see it has a blessing shifting our reactions to many of the life experiences. The law of verification comes into play when building a strong spiritual foundation, when they are things in our life that needed need to be stabilized and made stronger because something in the core is weakened. We may undergo tests of the character to see how strong we are in commitment to the personal values of spiritual growth and in what areas we may fall, uh, falter. Okay, it, If we base our decisions in life upon the falsi falsity or lies, this weakness will be this weakness will be tested and brought to the surface so that we can see it operating and verify the truth of it through our own experience. This realization supports the ability to perceive where we need to make changes to modify attitudes and behavior and to perceive the opposing forces of the polarity involved. In order to verify, we are acting in alignment to the natural laws, in alignment to our authentic selves. The law of verification teaches us lessons through inner revelations, the path of moderation in all the pursuits and life in order to achieve energetic balance is the key to mastery of this law which opens the communication with the natural raw, natural forces the trinity waves okay the verifying personality integrity the verifying personal integrity so when i'm reading this i'm getting so many downloads okay so i'll talk about these things also the downloads okay so when you think that something in your life is getting uh, you know imbalanced okay something is going out of balance then see why it is going out of balance and check you know 
your heart if your heart is saying something or if your mind is saying something is your heart and mind are working together or not sometimes your mind will influence you a lot and your heart get weak heart decisions may get weakened and your sometimes your heart will influence you a lot and your mind decisions might get weakened so most of the times we have to balance both our heart and mind and we have to stay in that middle ground sometimes if you know if one thing is the dominating the other then we can face difficulties because of often in life we have to go in parallel okay we have to take both our heart and mind if we are taking just one thing then it can be a trouble you know in our life okay it is my personal experience as also and i'm sure that most of you have also faced this kind of a situations in your life so it is like a life lessons to us that we have to take both you know we have to make both of them as friends and we have to tell them that you both guys both work together so that they both can you know work together and give you better results in your spiritual life or your material life okay sometimes you know always you know listening to your heart excessively can also lead to some problems because you need logic over there brain's logic okay sometimes listening to your uh, brain's logic excessively can also you know you know, might you know weaken your heart's intuition so you have to take both mind and heart here and have a balanced and energetic life okay so that you can balance both these things and you can work with the law of verification and you can be in alignment with the divine will so right so verifying personal integrity the law of verification is a link between what you have learned about yourself spiritually who you are at the deepest levels of the personal integrity and unflinchingly applying it into every aspect of your daily life it is now that you must find ways to use this new knowledge of yourself by grounding it into your daily life and personal habits your new hard earned levels of truth freedom and soul integrity what you feel is right for your personality becomes challenged by circumstances people and things many of us many of these old circumstances will not resonate with you and any more and thus will end up fall away disappear or be reformed to your new frequency many times this appears rather troubling even though it is a major blessing in disguise so i talked a lot about this line in my previous videos also you know whatever which is not resonating with you will fall off it had to it should fall off eventually it had to fall off and there is no other way even if you are feeling that pain you know in that moment but then you have to let go of it and you it can be anything it can be relationships it can be your thinking patterns it can be anything it have to just fall off or it can it should be remodified so that it can be aligned with your new frequency you are constantly evolving and something if is not evolving with you something is not you know um reaching up to your new frequency is matching your new frequency then what will happen is you will feel struggle you will fe face difficulties in you know um in uh, staying with, with that old you know the parallel old frequencies or the or the people with who are still carrying the old frequencies because now you are a changed person and because you are a changed person they should be adjustment in that relationship or they just they should be some reformed relationships or, or they should also evolve so that they both the relationships can be in the same frequency or at least there should be some adjustment in the relationships or the anything which it it can be so that you can you can be in harmoniously working with that relationship or that thought pattern or that frequency or it can be anything so for constantly evolving you there should be a constant life changes you know constant relationship changes it doesn't mean that you are changing every other relationship it doesn't mean that way but it just that you know some things have to fall off and some things has to be reformed okay by you know both cooperation of the both the uh, individuals or the by by the cooperation of the you know the mindsets of the people or you know it can be anything you or you might just you know uh, your you bought some things and those things are not resonating with you anymore and offer you you will feel that okay you it, this thing is shouldn't be in your you know life or this thing you don't feel like you know putting this that uh, product or that uh, thing in your um, room or something like that and you will feel that you will replace that product and you will uh, discard that product okay so it is something you know some things are just like that your something which is not adjusting with your frequency and something is uh, you know 
uh, there is a huge difference in between the frequencies then the low frequencies will leave and the, maybe those lower frequencies will may be reformed into a, a new higher frequency then both the frequencies can match together and can stay harmoniously with each other okay this law presents you with the trial or test to see if you can still remain in your personal truth or on your path despite challenges to your new way of being and hard pushes made against your integrity it's time where you must devise new methods of dealing with the old problems and this is a time that demands new insights and creative resolutions we are then led to explore new beliefs about our world and what is transpiring around us as we gain mastery with the self control we use the spirit of patience and tact in the handling of such situations the questions we need to clear for our verification we need to be cleared for our verification is what so there are some questions and write this questions take up you know take a paper and a pen write this questions which i am asking you now and try to answer it yourself okay so suppose if i ask you a question now i am asking you a question now and take a piece of paper and write that question there and try to answer it and that answer is what you have to implement in your life or that answer is what the solution to your problem or your question so let's see what answers you'll get after you write these questions and do write these questions and analyze yourself that what changes you have to do in your life or your spiritual life or your material life your overall life or your your own consciousness so that you can become a more better version of yourself okay so the question the first question is what in my life needs stabilizing okay i'll repeat the question three times write it down on a piece of paper and try to answer it what in my life needs stabilizing what in my life needs stabilizing i hope you are done with the question okay you can write all the questions uh, at a time and then you know think carefully and answer it slowly and answer it in a meditative state so that you can get an appropriate answer okay so write down the second question second question is what test must i pass to learn my lessons what test must i pass to learn the lessons what test must i pass to learn the lessons to learn my lessons so ask yourself which test you are skipping and ignoring in your life which is you know which you you are becoming for which you are becoming your own obstacle in your path why you are ignoring that test and why you are afraid to take that test take the test and you will see that your consciousness level will go to the next stage okay because you are ignoring that test because you are not giving that divine test you are you are still saying staying in the same you know stuck energy or stuck consciousness okay once you give that test one once you pass that divine test then once you pass that lesson once you learn that lesson you will break that cycle and you will move forward into next level or next consciousness okay so what beliefs do i hold that i must verify through my experience what beliefs do i hold that i must verify through my experience what beliefs do i hold that i must verify through my experience so check your belief systems what belief systems you have in your life which are still holding you back which are still behaving like a bogh in your life bogh means a weight in your life they are just behaving like a weight like a mountain in your life and they are not allowing you to move forward so what are those weights what are those belief systems write down that and work on those okay work on those belief systems do the inner work shadow work on those belief systems okay then fourth question how am i synthesizing opposing forces in my life how am i synthesizing oppose, opposing forces in my life how am i synthesizing opposing forces in my life so you might often face you know the people who are very opposite to you or something which is very opposing you know force to you sometimes if you are you know you are holding that softness or smoothness you can you know you can face the situations of people which are more tough and who are more ruder how you are i'm just giving you the example don't take it too seriously okay so how you're dealing with those kind of people so if you are somebody who is like um more introverted and somebody you in your life may be more extroverted and it is very opposing nature of uh, you know it is it might be very of opposing nature and how you're dealing with that thing 
so whatever which is opposite to you and how you're dealing with that thing how you are you know how you are um, trying to uh, be in a harmonious way and how you're trying to react in a very harmoniously and lovingly towards that thing which is very opposing to you which is that thing or a person who are very opposing forces to you how you're dealing with them how you're reacting with them check on all these things and if they uh, they need to be uh, you know uh, for you to do some changes and do those changes and question yourself how you can establish harmony even in the situations where there is a opposing force or opposing opinions or opposing thought forms or opposing mentalities and how you're dealing with all these kind of people or things or situations and how you're reacting with them and you know if you're not dealing properly and if you don't know how to deal with those things properly and what you have to learn is to deal with those things to maintain harmony even in these kind of situations and to deal and take actions towards and how to deal with uh, those things you have to learn lessons you know even in these kind of situations and how to you know be in a cooperative way uh, even in these kind of opposing situations and how to behave your integrity how to be, be you know how to set your own boundaries how to be in that balance balance state even in these kind of a situations okay you have to uh, think about all these things okay so the next question after going through the death of transforming tra death of transforming what characterizes my new rebirth in this next cycle this is often the next uh, you know important thing um, uh, often in my own life also i have gone through so many death processes death and rebirth death and rebirth again and again again and again because awakening is like that you one dark night of soul it doesn't uh, mean that you are finished with the ascension journey you have to go through constant death and rebirth process that that's what means evolution that's what means ascension right so ascension itself means that you are you know leaving your old self and you are transforming into somebody new okay so you there is a constant death and rebirth phase which happens in your ascension journey and if it doesn't if that doesn't happen it means that you are not doing anything for your own ascension okay so it's very important to handle your death phase it is very important in to handle your transforming phase and what characterizes my new rebirth in this next cycle okay what is the characterize what is characterizing your rebirth in this ne next cycle in this next rebirth cycle which you have just crossed your death phase and then you are entering your rebirth phase and what is characterizing it you have to write that answer in the answer section okay and what law of god do i violate and what can i do to stay in harmony with those laws okay it is very important and when you uh, have a complete picture of all the laws you will be able to answer this question maybe so just write the question and when i you know when you listen to all my videos on the uh, different laws then you will be able to answer this also okay what law of god do i violate and what can i do to stay in harmony with those laws okay write down this question what law of god do i violate and what can i do to stay in harmony with those laws okay you may want to investigate these to be more aware of your fears and triggers that bring you in a down downward spiral recognize those emotional triggers and work to adjust them to refocus your thoughts to trusting in the divine order trusting implicitly uh, implicit, uh, implicit, implicitly in the spirit and divine guidance is a huge test for many of us in the wounded healer archetype no it is a time and that we are eternal okay so you can be both healer and also you can be wounded that is what is called as wounded healer archetype i'm going to make a video on this also so it it can it's a simultaneous process okay you can be healer you can be healing somebody you know who is uh, maybe you know little bit uh, downward consciousness than you you can be a healer for them and you can heal your own wounds in your own consciousness level it's like a constant evolu evolving process okay so you can be both you can be healer also you can be the, the the person who is healing his own his or her own wounds okay this is what is called as wounded healer archetype so you can be both so if you want to evolve and if you want to become a better healer and if you are healing people and if you want to serve them better and you have to heal your own wounds also so you you are healing others it's a very good thing but uh, you also have to heal your wounds your inner wounds so this is like a you are wounded and you are 
healing yourself and you're teaching others to heal themselves too right in your own journey in your own healing journey once you are wounded and you are you are healing your own wounds and also you are uh, utilizing that knowledge to help others heal themselves right so this is what is called as wounded healer and if you are that wounded healer and all these questions and all this information about law of verification will help you become a better healer will help you heal your wounds much betterly so this is all i what i wanted to say about law of verification so thank you so much for tuning in shri mathuna maha